First off, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who rule, govern, and teach well. All right? Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. To the Akim out there on the highways and byways, making their bodies a living sacrifice as the scriptures tell them to do so. All right. Blocking the fiery darts, all right, of Satan. Okay. With the shield of faith. All right. Continuing to spread the, the gospel across the four corners of the earth, which is the good news. All right. Being obedient to the best of their ability. Right. I'm going to say shalom to you, brothers. Continue to spread the good news, all right? To the aqua out there listening and learning in silence. Reverencing your husband if you have one, all right? I'm going to say shalom to you, sisters, as well, all right? Okay, as I woke up this morning, you know, um, <coughs> I came across this video, one of the brothers, I believe he's in uh, the Mississippi camp, all right? And as you can see right here, his um, his page is uh, GMS Dedication, right? Great brother, please subscribe to this brother's page. He brings out a lot of good information, all right? This brother is really a man of the Lord, okay? And um, he brings out a lot of information. Okay, and um, matter of fact, let me, and um, you know, <clears throat> this brother, um, I was I was watching this video, all right, <laughs> and um, it's like so obvious, man. It's obvious, you know, on what they're implementing, you know, or bringing it bring it to the forefront, you know, to make normal. Okay, it's obvious that um that this thing is, you know, for sure, you know, the MOTB, man. All right? And they're going to use this new wave of uh, technology, all right, and push this, you know, to the masses, you know, all right? And this is definitely what um, the disciple John, you know, all right, on the Isle of Patmos, was um, had had envisioned. The Lord gave him that vision. All right, gave him this revelation, man. It, it revealed this to him on the Isle of Patmos, man. And <clears throat> I mean, it's clear. All right, as you can see, the needle. All right that's being impaled into the skin, all right? And what do you think that's inside that needle, man? That grain of rice, okay? Basmati grain of rice, the loam, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, if you ever seen a Basmati grain of rice, man, you, you, you'll know what I'm talking about, all right? And that's that RFID, man. But... You still got people in Israel mainly, all right, who's saying the MOTB is not, you know, this new wave of technology. It's sin. All right? Which the apostles and elders of, of, of Great Millstone, man, hey, been bringing this out, you know, for decades. Okay? Been bringing this out for decades, man. All right. That's why we say, you know, these are the true men of the Lord, man. All right. This tend to make sense. All right. But really only to the to those, you know, who who has that spiritual eyesight. All right. To the elect. This doesn't make sense to um anybody, uh, you know, that that, you know, that's not of the elect, man. Okay, but it's clear as day, man, as you can see right now, hey, she's impelling, she's about to impel that, um, 
that needle into her skin, man. This is what John the Baptist saw like This is what John the Revelator saw, man. Okay, on the Isle of Patmos. He couldn't really, you know, it couldn't really, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, give you a, 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 a detail on, on, you know, on, on, on what it is today, but he gave us uh, enough detail to know that this is what is about to be in, in, in today's time. Hey, we in the last days. He gave us enough information, all right? No different than how you would put a stake or, or a flag, you know, has a, has a sharp point, and you stake it into the ground, you know what I'm saying? And what you're doing, right? You're claiming your land, all right? So this is no different, all right? And Esau Edom, all right, starting with those elites, is putting a stake or putting a claim, you know, just pretty much, hey, it's going to be their flag. State and ownership, man. They own this land, which is you, your body. Okay? We're going to get to Revelation 13 and 15, and most likely 16 in a minute. But I just wanted to reload uh, this video because it was, you know, it just makes sense, man. Okay? On what, on what that MOTB is, man. All right? It's no coincidence that this thing is being pushed all right. Like it's being pushed now. All right. How, how else you think they're going to have to get everybody on the grid? All right. How else you think? OK, this thing is, is, is ramping up. OK. And it's only a matter of time, you know, it'll be in your neck of the woods. man. OK. And that's how this devil deals and gradualism. Man. Right? Hey, this devil been had this out, man. All right? He just had to find a a, 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 a sly way, okay, to implement this and introduce this, all right, to the masses. Okay? But this thing been, been out. All right? You had movies, Total Recall. All right? You had cer certain movies. Uh, in the 90s and in, in, in the 80s, all right, uh, uh, the Terminator, you know, mixing man with machine, all right, you've had those movies since the 80s, man, and I dare say the 70s in some movies, okay, so this devil been bringing this thing out, man, okay, so, what I'm going to do right now <clears throat> is I'm going to let this video play, but I'm going to actually start it from the beginning, all right? Like I said, this is the brother's uh, G from GMS Dedication. Please subscribe to this brother's video, I mean to this brother's channel, all right? <sighs> I'm going to play this thing from the beginning, but I just wanted to show you this image. You know, this image says a lot, okay, on <clears throat> how... They're going to try, they're, they're going to, you know, uh, push this thing on to us, man. All right. And these devils is going to make this thing mandatory at one point, man. Right now, hey, it's more of a choice. Okay. They're implementing it, hey, as, as, if, as if it's a choice now. But this thing is going to be mandatory and they're going to cause, cause all, as he has the title right here, he go, they're going to cause all through their policies and law. They're going to push this thing and mandate this thing, man. Okay? Let's not get it twisted, man. All right? This devil is still the devil. <laughs> all right? He's definitely, definitely adverse say, uh, uh, of, of Yahweh Shai. Of Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Okay, so what we're going to do is play this thing from the beginning. All right, I just wanted to put this steel picture on there, um, you know, because this is how they're going to do it, man. They're going to impale it, right? Like I said, no different than they put a, a stake or a flag, you know, that's being impaled into the ground, right? Except, guess what? The ground is your is your body. You are the land. That they're claiming ownership on. Okay. 
but I'm going to let this play from the beginning, right? Hello. You okay? Yes, that's right, yes. Coincidence, man, this is in his right hand, man. All right? And watch how uh I'm not sure if he's Elam in the back. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if he's Elam or not, you know. But uh watch how he uh how he's uh, oblivious to um to how he paid for the um for the transaction. <laughs> you know, he's looking like what the hell? Check it out. Does it work? Uh, there you go. Uh, uh, you see him? <laughs> He's like, what the hell? How, how do you do Magic. Huh? Magic. Huh? All right, you heard him say magic. All right. Hey, man, these are a bunch of wizards and sorcerers anyway, man. Even though he was uh, being, um, uh, um, he was being uh, funny, you know, trying to crack a joke. But, Hey, the spirit had him say that, man, because that's that's what it is. All right. But your wizards and warlocks, man, do their sorcery, man. Hey, that old serpent, man, in the garden, man. All right. Hey, that old serpent in the garden. All right. The brother Yashawamba uh, brought that out. All right. Elder of the Dallas camp. Right. Hey, that serpent, man, was a sorcerer, man, and which he was, man. That serpent was a sorcerer, man. And that old serpent, you know, that it turned into a dragon, man. All right? All right? By the time it got to Revelations, man, that old serpent turned into a dragon, man. All right? So the same tactics, hey, hey, he don't change his tactics, man. All right? He's here to kill, steal, and destroy, man. And deceive the nations, man. And deceive the masses. That's his job. By any means necessary, man. Through his witchcraft, right? Okay? I'll play that back. Magic. Huh? Magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Oh, there we go. And it's the sin. How do you do it? Magic. Huh? Magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> what it's, it's, it's about man hey they they biohacking man the life you know pretty much hacking life you know they found out and they, and they and they've been like i said they've been working on this for a while man they've been working and and, and putting it you know doing those human you know it's like you're doing them animal trials you know it was doing this with the monkeys man all right and the dogs all right and people think we crazy when we bring this stuff out man all right? They think we crazy, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> when we bring this stuff up, man. Hey, that word bio is life, man. And they, would, they pretty much hacked life. They hacked on how to, you know what I'm saying, hacked away, you know, on, on, on to merge, you know, man with machine. Technology with machine, man. Okay? It says the art. And science of changing the environment around you and inside you. You see that? <laughs> you know, 
so you have more control over your own body, man, right? And your finances, your health, all right? And that's how they're going to push this thing to us, man. They're going to push this thing pretty much. Hey, pretty much what they're saying is, hey, hey, the Lord has no more control over you, all right? Whether you get sick and die, whether you, you know, hey, you have control over you. That's what they're saying. Do with thy will, spirit. All right? They're pretty much uh, 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 cutting out, you know, the Lord in this equation, man. That shit don't add up to me, though. And they say, hey, guess what? You don't need the Lord. Hey, that's what the boy, uh, uh, Yuval Noah said. Hey, who needs God now? You know what I'm saying? We can manipulate the weather. All right? We can do things, you know, we, we are God pretty much. Okay? But really, they coming out to the workings of Satan, man. With all signs and lying wonders, man. Okay? But they're pretty much merging man with machine, man. That's why I say they've been working on this technology, man. All right? Biohacking, the art and science of changing the environment around you and inside you, right? So you have more control over your own biology. And the Lord pretty much is saying, the Lord, Yahweh Bashimi Shai has no more control over you. You got the juice now. That's how they're going to push it. This is why the masses is going to flock to this, man. All right. Imagine having a microchip in your body that can transform your health, performance, happiness, and intelligence. With these, you see that it's a health, performance, happiness, and intelligence. And that's how they're going to push this thing to you, man. All right? Through your health, you know? You know, they could pretty much, uh, you, they could pretty much uh, manage on how you get sick or whatever. Okay? <laughs> you can manage yourself pretty much, you know? <laughs> Heal yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Performance, man. I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying, in, in the bedroom, how they going to push, you know, especially these freaks. Out here. Intelligence, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much uh, that uh, you no, you're no longer going to need Siri, man. Hey, Siri. No, you're going to be Siri. Right? So this thing is, 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 is heating up. All right? And in, in some countries, it's, it's fully, it's already fully mandatory, man. I believe the UK is one of them. All right? Sweden is another one. Okay? And it's like I said, it's not going to be too long, man, for this thing is right here in your backyard. All right? Wouldn't be surprised, man. Hey, hey that's how it was with the mobile phones. That's how it was with, with, with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what? Uh, uh, the credit cards. You know? Now you can. You don't need the credit cards. Now you can pay with your phone. All right? I'm going to let this video play and I'm going to get out of here. Tips, you can become a superhuman. Do you have doubts about the power of augmented reality? Get ready for the next wave of hybrid technologies that will revolutionize healthcare and other industries for decades to come. The Netherlands University of Twente has created a phone that can turn into an implantable microchip. It's said that once implanted, the interface appears within your vision. The technology that has enabled these devices to exist is all thanks to neural networks, which are basically the computer equivalent of your brain. These networks are capable of performing incredibly complicated functions. And man, that was the whole idea of the computer, man. Hey, they, they always wanted that computer to be in you. <laughs> you see? 
and hey, what's the hey, what's the um uh, what's the uh name the technical term of, of the motherboard the brain man this is the brain of the, uh, on the computer it's the motherboard all right they say this is the brain of the computer right they always was was wanted to implement that all right yeah they're gonna make you superhuman man. <laughs> By hacking your body, your your bio, biology, man, and your life. <coughs> it's a lot. Like playing chess, driving a car, and even diagnosing diseases. Would you get one of these microchips? Too smart. Too smart for your own good. Let's read the scripture he said. He put up. He said, Oh, Timothy, guard what has been entrusted to you. Avoid ir irreverent, uh, empty chatter and the opposing arguments of so-called knowledge. You see that? And that's an A. And, 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 and this is those lying wonders, man. Okay? As you see, it says so-called knowledge, man. Right? This is only an, an illusion. Right? This is only an illusion of knowledge, man. Okay? But this is, you already know this devil, A. Hey, he got he got a trick up his sleeve, man. All right, and this trick is really to gear, you know what I'm saying? You know th this totalitarianism, right? Under this uh, NWO. All right, but he got to find a sly way or a slick or a slithering way, you know, to push this upon the masses, man. Okay, and he's going to use your health. He's going to use the finances. He's going to use your performance. <laughs> you know, and who and, and who don't want to be superhuman, man? All right, but not under their control, of course. On hey, we're going to get that power when when time need be. All right, hey, when the Lord turned us into hunters, man. Turns us from from fishers to being hunters, all right. We're, we're gonna have that power, but it's gonna be on your how about shim your how shy's time, not on our time. Okay. Yeah. Hey, we were made to be immortal. All right. But through sin, hey, we all die. <clears throat> all right. Augmenting the human body, I've probably gone from doing one a month to almost one a day. I did feel a little. Hey, you heard that? <laughs> she went from going one a month, right? So this thing is 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 creeping up. She said she going been going from one a month doing those implementations, one a month, from one a month to one a day. Next is gonna be one an hour. Then one every minute and one every second. Gradualism, man. Come on, man. But it's but it's mark of the beast of sin, right? Is the white Jesus? Come on, man. They showing you right here. Nervous about this, but I think it's because it's something new. I think the needle will be bigger than piercing size. So yeah, quite big. Don't think about what happens next. Nice deep breath in for me. Check it out. Just gonna Check bring the out. towel down to your waist. I would say I'm a fairly alternative person. So what do you have planned for the rest of the day? Um, well, after working with you, I'm actually off to get a microchip in my hand, <laughs> which is quite exciting. There are many benefits to it that I feel like may help. We saw Edom so got so motherfucking just. It just dilly, man. No care in the world, man. Life now. I'll be able to store business cards, contact information, or be able to pull up my website really quickly if somebody else scan their phone over it. 
So biohacking is a term used to explain augmenting the human body using technology that we implant into the skin to better interact with the world around us. I think I've always been fascinated with tech and futurism and interesting ways that we can upgrade ourselves. Today we're going to be implanting some microchips and looking at ways that we can program those. So it's like a long grain of rice. This is bioglass, so it's very, very tough material. To be honest, you'd be more likely to break several bones in your hand than break this chip. I've probably gone from doing, say, one a month to almost one a day. So it's a pretty big increase in the number of people that are interested in this now. The youngest I do them is 18. The oldest I've done, I think she was 62. And it was because her daughter had had one as well. She was really excited about it and she got one done the same day. I think in the future we'll see this being a core part. And, that, and that's the logic on, on how to get one or why to get one, you know. And that, But you know what? That's going to be a lot of these men's logic too. Oh, my wife you told me to get it. She, she wanted me to get it. So, you know, hey. Um, you know, to perform, I ain't been performing good in bed, so, you know, with this, I'm going to be able to perform good, you know, I'll have an erection, you know what I'm saying, for 10 hours, for what, I don't know, you know, but that's going to be their logic, they're not going to consider that, okay, the long-term effects, the grievous sore, as it, um, as it said, what's the saying, um, revelations, uh, 19. Salak is 16. Let's go there right quick. <clears throat> Revelations 16. You're not going they're not considering, you know, the cancers, you know, that that might come, you know what I'm saying, uh up out of this. You know the the uh apostle uh Gabar brought that out. You know, made a video on that. Okay? They're not going to consider all that. You know, that's going to cause cancer. You know? Hey, a lot of... That stuff is not meant to be... You know, your body is not meant to be hacked. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? With this technology. No. You, only the Lord can hack us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It says... Revelation 16 and 2. It says... And the first went and poured out his vow upon the earth. And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men, right? Which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshiped his image, right? And that grievous sore, man, right? It show you that in, um, what's the book? I mean, Salaki, what's that movie? It's called the... Um, it's called the, oh, man, I forgot what's the name of that movie, man. I always quote it. Implanted, that's the name of the movie, on the platform of Tubi, all right, the Tubi platform. It's called Implanted, right? She turned her back around, and she had a big-ass sore on her back, all right? I did a video on that earlier part, you know, about that movie Implanted, I believe, but yeah. That it is it gonna have that grievous sore, man. Right? I'm interested to see what that grievous sore is. Grievous sore. Let's look up sore. <clears throat> a wound. You see that? Producing a discharge like pus. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> a sore or an ulcer, man, that's cancer. <laughs> you see that? It said a, a wound, especially a wound producing discharge, pus, right? A sore and ulcer. You see that? Hey, and a lot of people who had cancer, man, had that pus in them, man. All right? Hey, that's a grievous sore, man. A wound, especially uh, a uh, separated wound. Right? You see that? Come on, man. A ulcer. I'm curious on what an ulcer is. It's like an ulcer in the stomach. I've heard it before. Let me see if I can at least get 
it said, uh, also, da, 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 also a sore, figuratively painful subject, all right, wound, okay, it said a wound, sore, also, hemorrhoids, well, I'm not sure if that's it, also, it's full of sores, all right, also, da, da. Canker. Right? Hey, who know, but who knows what that grievous sore is going to be, man? You know? I'm sure it'll be in the form of cancer. Right? Or uh, whatever it is. You know? It, it's going to be a grievous sore, though. You know? We just read it. Right? Revelation 16 and 2. That grievous sore, man. Okay? So let's finish this. Our uh, day-to-day life, similar to how quickly mobile phones were integrated into our society, we don't really think too much about the invasiveness of that now. I'm a little bit scared about the pain. This needle is definitely bigger than, than any of the pacing needles I've, I've had so far. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Come on through. Thank you. Fantastic. Shall I take a seat? Yeah, just take a seat. Yeah. <laughs> it's kept sterile. And see, they're going to try to make this, uh, they're going to try to push this safety ness on them. To, you know, to try to, you know, uh, to try to, you know, uh, push onto you that it's less risk, you know. Guys, sterile. It's kept sterile to reduce the risk of serious infection. Come on, man. Did we just read about the grievous sore. All right. Okay. So come on now. They don't even consider that. Yeah, just take a seat. If my skin was to reject it for whatever reason, that would be, that'd be a bit crappy. It doesn't need to travel too far, just enough that it can't back out of the hole we're about to make. So okay. it's only going to go, it's about a centimeter and a half under your skin. The needle's quite big and scary, mm -hmm. but it's not going that far in. So okay. good. good to know. <laughs> Nice and loose, you don't need to focus on controlling your hand now, so kind of let everything go a bit floppy and just sort of don't think about what happens next. Don't think about it. Direct cover the right. Nice deep breath in for me. Boom. Impaled it. Ooh, I'm glad they showed that. Did they see that? Did you see that? How she had to force it and push it in like that? Ooh, I'm glad they showed that. Current. Uh, UK law doesn't directly cover microchipping. Come on, man. Check out it. Check out she pushed it in and held it in. Me. Like I said, if you you, you got to use some force to kind of push, you know, a stake or a flag into the ground. All right? Hey, this is no different. If you got to put a stake or a flag or something, you got to pound it or pound it in there, you know, or push it in there. In order for it to be in, in inside the land or the ground. Hey, this is no different. We're going to get to that definition, man, of karakma, man. All right? Nice deep breath in for me. Check it, check it out. Boom. You see how she pushed in? Mm, Look. Awesome. Guys, right, Zena, the implant may cause irritation under the skin. You that? <laughs> <laughs> up to two years though you see that the implant may cause irritation under the skin for up to two years now who the hell want irritation under that motherfucker for two years ain't no telling what's gonna come up, up, up you know what I'm saying what what will get infected or cross within them two years man and that's why I brought up you know and, and the apostle brought out that grievous sword, man, Revelation 16 and 2. They don't look at the long-term effects of this. All right? Let's see. But you know what? They going to get it, man. You saw them. They going to run and get the shit. You know what I'm saying? This is mainly for, you know what I'm saying, the elect, man, of Israel, man. 
All right. But this is going to be a lot of Edomites that don't get it. They know they understand what's going on. All right. All right. Oh, oh. Now I, I ain't even see this too far. <laughs> Ooh, you see that? I ain't even look, I ain't even go this far in the video. And I didn't even know that uh, he put this in there. Right? But you see those grievous sores? And he brought up what? Revelation 16 and 2. I didn't even go this far in the video. But look at the grievous sores. All right? Come on, man. <clears throat> Can't make this stuff up. You see? It's the same scripture I brought up. A cyborg. <laughs> she said, you see that? The damn dummy. She said, now you're a cyborg. <laughs> Man and machine. Technology. <laughs> Biohacking. Okay. I think it's a very, very small step on the way to becoming a cyborg. Cool. Approach an NFC tag. Now you've got like that raised area. You might have to gently give it a little bit of a push down into the skin as long as that's not too uncomfortable. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey! Hey! Same page of our website. Amazing! <laughs> One of the other things you can put on is a, an excellent... It's in the future, Amy could use her chip to make payments. You see that? We're going to get into that. Buy and sell, right? And store her medical data. We're going to get into that as far as the data. And the storage is concerned. Hey, those might buy and sell, man. Okay. But come on, this is clear. One of the other things you can put on is a, an excellent corn hub. This fool, he just don't. He just, so, he, uh, whatever she wants. Look at him. Is a, an excellent corn hub link of your choice. And then when someone goes onto it, it immediately loads up. If they haven't turned their media volume down, it auto plays. It's fantastic. Oh, I'm so curious. <laughs> I wonder if he get uh, He get You did see? Uh, look, 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 yeah. Check him out. It's fantastic. Oh, so Check him out. <laughs> no, man. He's feminine, man. This chip is bridging the gap between cyborg technology and everyday life technology. Take care, guys. Bye. The one thing that does concern me in the future is people forcing other people to have a chip. Like for work, for example, people should always be able to have that choice if you don't want to get I one. Heard, right? Forcing the people to have a chip for work in the future. Come on, man. They know what's going on. Absolutely fine. But those of us that do, let's have some fun with it and see what it can do. See that? Being have at the fun. forefront of this. That's that your low spirit. You only live once. All right, do what you want to do, do what thy will. All right, <laughs> that's that spirit. Quite exciting. It said, uh, the quote is said, eventually there are going to be chips and brains. Imagine if you could just buy knowledge and download it into your head instead of having to learn it <laughs> like in the matrix imagine all the years there and they think this shit gonna be a movie they think this shit gonna be just like that <laughs> they damn stupid man you think it's gonna be just like that all right well rolls and rolls of, of guns and now all of a sudden you're gonna know taekwondo now all of a sudden you're gonna know a certain martial arts now all of a sudden you could be able to dodge bullets all right. Come on, man. But let's 
get to Revelations 13. Right? I just wanted to bring that up. You know, because the brother was really, he went hard on that video. You know what I mean? But Revelation 13 and 16 says this. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor. Now, you can see she was poor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She wasn't no rich or wealthy person. All right? But, you know, she looking at it as a new fact. That's the new thing. Calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, whether you're in jail or whether you're free, right? <laughs> so like it. To receive a karagma, all right, in their right hand or in their foreheads, right? You see that? Now let's look up this word, M-A-R-K, right? Okay. So it says karagma. That's why I say karagma. Mm -hmm. Strong's G, 5480, karagma. Karagma. All right. It says, look, a stamp, an imprinted mark, right? Kind of like a barcode. You know you how you would have a barcode on a product, you know, a bag of chips or, you know what I'm saying, a pop or water, whatever it is, you'll have a barcode to scan it. You know what I'm saying? It'd be no different, but instead of the, it being the chips or something, you'll be the product. <laughs> you are the product, pretty much. And that's what this whole thing is about. Ownership and product. That's why I use the example of a flag. You you go and conquer a land, and you put what? Their flag, your flag into the land. That, that, that show, that's like a garrison. Alright? And that shows what? I own this land now. All right, and, and, and but you are the land. All right, it says, stamp on the forehead or right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist. They said Antichrist, but you know, you know how this shit. It said, uh, <clears throat> the mark branded upon horses. And why was a horse being branded? Hey, to, to know this horse belongs to John, or this horse belongs to John Smith, or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? Because it denotes ownership. Thing carved, as you can see, it was in order to carve something, you have to what? Impel it, or you have to uh, uh, dig into something. All right? Sculpture, graven work, and idolatry, uh, I, I, idolatrous image. I don't know if I said that right, but I said it. Right? It said a scratch or etching. You see that? Graven mark. Yeah. You see that? Let's go to the root though. Let's go to the root though. Check it out. Let's say this. A pale or a stake. You see that? A palisade. Right? A palisade or rampart. Check it out. That was that. That was that. That, that needle, right? What? To sharpen to a point. You see that? That was that needle that was at a point. It was able to stake. Let's look up stake, man. Something got to give on this. Right? Let's see what this say. Let's what this say. It says pointed stick or post. You see that? Stick of wood, it's, but it's a pointed, uh, sharpened at one end for driving into the ground, and that's exactly what the, it's exactly what that needle was, all right, being driven or you know what I'm saying into the skin, used as a part of a fence, or as a boundary mark. You see that, and that's what the that's what it's about. As uh, it's a, as a post to to tether to tether an animal to, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> That's crazy because that we are 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 are, are looked up looked upon as cattle, right? And what do you do with cattle? You put cattle into a fence. You fence your cattle around in a fence. 
but instead of a fence, damn it, they're putting it in your skin. So they don't need a fence. Because right there, they're going to be able to see exactly where you're at. They're going to track you with that. All right? And that's why I say they use the animals as a, a trial run. or You know what I'm saying? A trial run. Okay? But you the damn cattle, fool. You, you the product. You are the commodity. Okay? If you get this thing. This is, this is why we say this is the MOTB. Because it makes sense. We go deep into these words and we understand, you know, uh, uh, real time, real time, uh, we, we compare it to real time events or real time things. All right? Like I said, you put, a, you put some cattle into it. What you do? You put a fence around it so they won't have to get lost. All right? They won't venture off too, too far. This is what this is about. Look, it's telling you right here. Look, the only thing they have to do is read it. All right? And that's exactly that. Like I say, how you put a flag into the ground, you would stake that. You see how she had to push that? You know? It said, as boundary mark. You see that? Hey, you're going to be tracked with this thing, man. Huh? You'll never get lost. Right, you don't need a fence up because what the uh, the 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 karagma, you know, be able to know where you at at all times, just like your phone. It's like it says. Um, it says a pen, a stake, right? A stake, a post, right? A pillory. Guess what this say? A prison. Come on, man. A, a prison. What does the prison have? Bars up. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. You're going to be in a prison within yourself. <laughs> Can't make these things up, man. Hey, the elders and the apostles, apostles and elders, the great millstone have been bringing this out, man. They did the research. And we entered into their labels, man. We see that. Look, it's a, a pole, a stick, a post. Like I say, no different than how you put a, a flag post in the ground. All right? It said, <laughs> this is, you can't make this stuff. A post to which a person condemned by death by burning is bound. You see that? All this is, is surrounded by death, though. Okay? It said a stake, ain't right? impale to impale. You see that? To fasten to a stake, tether. It said divide or lay off and mark land. Oh, you see that? And mark a land with stakes or posts. Come on, man. It said make. And register a land claim. Stake a claim. You see that? You staking the claim. And, and, <laughs> and the claim is you. Because they put they denote ownership with you. It makes sense, man. All right? Mark off territory. You got to do is look it up. You know, that's all you got to do. Look it up. Okay. Let's go back. Now that we didn't went to Karax and figured this out. Okay. It said, by side of Rampart, a steak. You see that? Come on, man. All right. All right. Pill between which uh, earth, stones, trees, and timbers are heaped packed together, you know, a stake, a palisade, or a rampart, you know, a trench. Check it out, man. You know? But come on, man. It's, it's letting us know right there. Now let's go deeper. Right? Where it talks about, remember, now we talked, we talked about the sharper point, right? 
which was that needle. Now we finna go through the data. We finna go deeper. That's why I don't understand how, how, how can they say that this is grapho. Strong's G, 1125. Grapho. Mm -hmm. Grapho. So it's not only letting us know that they're going to use a stake, uh, how they're going to be able to uh, claim this stake. <laughs> you see, you get it? Claim the stake, you know, and put the stake and drive this stake into you and force it into your hand. Guess what? They're going to let you, the, the Apostle John, let you know, look, hey, this is going to be data stored on this information to be able to track you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. But the pretty the point is the data. It says, uh let me get straight to the point. It says it says right here, it says to commit to writing to writing things not to be forgotten. You see that? This is data. It said write down or record. Look at that. All right. Things not to be forgotten. Right. So this is what they implement, huh? <clears throat> Clocky. Got a little cold, man. Huh? <clears throat> so it says uh, to record. <clears throat> I mean, that's through the data, man. Huh? To write down information, things not to be forgotten. All right? <clears throat> That's lucky. So you telling me this thing ain't, ain't, ain't the MOTB man or RFID chip? <clears throat> right? Do you believe it now? Do you believe the apostles now? Are the apostles crazy now? Are the elders crazy of Great Millstone now? What? We shall see. Okay? We shall see. You know? What's that lying wonder? Let's get that. <clears throat> Let's get that. Um, you know, because they're coming after the workings of Satan, man. You know? I think it's in 1 Thessalonians. Mm. 2 Thessalonians. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. <clears throat> yeah, because he's coming out to the workers of Satan, man. All right? All right? All right? Verse 3, Second Thessalonians. Man of lawlessness. Hey, man, that's, that's, that's Esau Edom, man. All right, man of lawlessness, man. Right, that's what that biohacking is about, man. You you controlling your own destiny, pretty much. Right, meaning no laws govern you, man. You don't need laws to govern you because you can govern yourself. All right, look at that. <laughs> you know. Uh, let me just start at one. It says Second Thessalonians two and one. It says, "Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our." Our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, right? And by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, right? Or be troubled. Hey, you gotta be grounded and rooted, man. On, on what you on, on what you believe in, man. Why? Because it's gonna be hey, this this devil is gonna try the whole world, man. Okay? So you gotta be rooted into your faith and understand what the what the Lord Yahweh Shai told us. What to do and what not to do. Okay? Hey, and the vision is, is set for a point in time. But in the end, it shall speak. Man, that's Habakkuk chapter 2, man. All right? And what is going to speak? It's speaking now, man. Through that video I just showed you. Through the brother uh, put out, GMS Dedication. All right? It says um, that you be not shooken, shalaki is shaken in mind. Or be troubled, neither by spirit nor by word. You see that? Nor by letter as far as from us, as that the day of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach is at hand. Okay? Right. Hey, the Lord is coming back, man. This is how we know. Right? 
through, through prophecy. We're measuring it. We're measuring the time. Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. Right. We're measuring the time diligently. It says, let no man deceive you by any means. You see that? For that day shall not come except there uh, come a fallen away first and that the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition, right? You see that? And the man of sin is being revealed, all right? Through, through, through what? His, his, it's <coughs> locking. Through his implementation of this karag, my man. But it's more. He's being revealed. And other uh, uh, um, and other things too as well. But while we on this, we just on you know the RFID, the MOTB. <clears throat> I said, who opposeth and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. You see that? Check out the boy uh, uh, Yuval Noah, man. Right? He said, who who needs a Most High? His name is Yuval Noah. All right. Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High, or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitting in the temple of the Most High, showing himself, right, that he is the Most High. You see that? <clears throat> and that's how he coming. All right? He's showing himself that he is, but he's not. Because he opposes our Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. Meaning he's opposite, he's adverse, he's the adversary. That's what Satan is, man. Adversary, man. Shatan. It said, Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. It said, And now ye know what withhold, withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. And he's been revealed. For the mysteries of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now let us let it will let until the until he be taken uh out of the way. <clears throat> let's get to the point. Well, let's go and read it said, and then the uh and then shall that wicked be revealed. You see that? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Amen. That's through the prophets, man. Starting with the apostles and elders, the great millstone, man. On down. All right? That's how he's being revealed. To the spirit of the Lord's mouth. You see that? Hey, the mouth of the Lord is, is the prophets, man. It always has been. Always will. It's an and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. You see that? Even him whose coming is after the works, working of Satan. All right. With all power and signs and what? Lion wonders. You see that? All right. Let's go into the lion wonders. All right. Lion goes into what? Pseudos. <laughs> Strong's G 5579. Pseudos. Pseudos. Right, through his pseudoscience, a lie, conscious, conscious, and intentional falsehood. You see that? So they're intentionally bringing out a lie, or bringing out this pseudoscience, right, to offset prophecy, man. To offset uh, uh, the prophecy of, of, of what, what the Lord's mouth, which is the prophets, is bringing out. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Deceitful precepts. You see that? <clears throat> so it's a lie through their lying wonders. That's pseudoscience, man. You see that? Come on now. Can't make this shit up. <clears throat> All right? Those lying wonders, man. It said even him who's coming after the workings of Satan. Right? You see that? So that means that's, <laughs> is man on the earth. That's coming after the workers of Satan. That's why we call them the devil. That's why we call the so-called white men the devil. Right? 
because they are off they for this. And they really <clears throat> preferably talking about, you know, starting with the elites, man. Hey, the regular Edomites, the, the Lord Edomite, they don't really know what's going on. You know? The lesser Edomite, they don't know what's going on right now. Okay? <clears throat> they don't. Just be plain and simple. They don't. All right? And a lot of a lot of them that do, you know, a lot of them do. All right? But the plain Jane, they don't know what's going on, man. It says... <clears throat> But this coming after the work after the workings of, of Satan, man. Right? It says, um, with and with all deceivableness, verse 10, and with all deceivableness, and I mean uh like it of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. You see that? He said, and for this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusions that they may believe a lie. You see that? And the Lord is going to put it into these people, you know, the two thirds of Israel and these other nations as well, too, to be able to receive this, this karagma, this, this, this RFID, to be biohacked, pretty much. Okay? It says, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. You see what I'm saying? You didn't believe when the apostles and elders started, you know, a great millstone was 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 uh bringing this information out. Call, call us crazy, man. All right? But we're going to be the gold in those days. All right? We're going to be the gold in these days on, on now, you know? From now on, we're going to be the goal. Because Isaiah 33, chapter 6, our favorite, our favorite scripture, all right, knowledge of wisdom will be the stability of thy times. And you're going to be stable by having knowledge of wisdom of the most high, man. Not of this world, but of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? <clears throat> but, like I said, I just wanted to bring that out, man, uh, you know, that's all I got right now. And uh, hopefully that edifies somebody, you know. All right? With that, I'm going to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakatadash, Rakatadash, Yahweh, Rakatadash, Yahweh Shai, Rakatadash, Yahweh, Rakatadash, Yahweh Shai, Rakatadash, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakatadash, Shalom.